Hi, we're here today to talk about the Marantz NA7004, which is a new device from Marantz, and it's a standalone streaming device with a high-end D2A converter in it, kind of the first of its type. The ability to stream Pandora, Rhapsody, Napster, internet radio stations is basically what this machine is designed for. I mean, when you're doing any type of streaming such as Rhapsody or Pandora, normally you don't have any type of D2A converter or digital analog converter that, that can up the quality for you or kind of upconvert. This device using its internal D2A converters can really help out in the quality of the streaming. It also has the ability to plug into your computer uh, through USB so you can play your high-res music files back onto this device. Um, also, you can use it to connect your iPod directly to the front and you can use what is a new nifty thing, it's called AirPlay. Now, this device will allow you to stream directly from your computer, iTunes library, or from the actual iTouch or iPhone directly back onto the device. Another thing that uh, Marantz actually uses is they have their MDAX2, which is a musical digital audio expander. And basically what this does, and the way I tested it is I actually went to YouTube when my computer was hooked to it and streamed a low-res uh, Amy Mann song. Basically the settings of 1, 2, or 3, or high, medium, and low, allow you to adjust for the poor quality of the MP3s, which really is amazing. I, I was really surprised and how much it could expand an MP3. Now, granted, you don't want to do that all the time, but you know, if you do run into some low-res audio, that it does really help. So one way I was thinking about using this system is as kind of a standalone system. Um, keep in mind, this unit does not have any internal amplification, so what I recommend is using a pair of these Audio Engine A5 powered speakers. Uh, it works out really well. So, I mean, if you have a uh, home office that's kind of smaller and you wanted to have a high-end music streaming device, this is just the perfect product for you here. And just keep in mind, you got to have it hardwired to your network. So as long as you have a Cat5 or structured wiring in the house, then you're good to go. Another thing is, is that this has no video output. So the basic way to control it is going to be using the Marantz remote control to actually dial in or search on the front menu. Or you can actually obtain the IP address, which is in the menu, go to your computer, and it will pull up, based on the IP address, a menu that you can actually type in if you're doing like a Rhapsody search. I found that to be a lot easier. So if you have any more questions about this, feel free to give us a call. We'll be glad to help you out.